welcome to my class and in this class we it's the culmination of what we have been doing in say statistics for economics so we've studied the tools we've studied the collection we've studied the organization presentation analysis interpretation all of that and today in this class we are going to talk about what we are actually aiming at to make projects ourselves to do a little research and in doing so in doing some sample research that we will be doing uh, that you have to do uh, for 20 marks we are now going to apply whatever we studied in developing these projects it's very interesting now we come to practice I'm going to be more practical so the heading is project work and use of statistical tools so that's the last chapter when you're studying this chapter we're going to do this all right so before i go on before i go on to make you understand what it is let's just take what are these statistical tools see the statistical tools as we see them they are connected to whatever methods like statistical methods adopted for studying statistics for economics like for example we talked about the statistical methods as in collection of data organization presentation analysis of data and interpretation of data and i made you learn it as copai so these are the methods various statisticians have given the definitions but right now just learn it up like that so what are the tools connected with collection as we've already done before just to reiterate it is collection is between we have census method of collecting data we can do it with sample method it can be random sampling and all of that now how do you organize data you organize them in an array form that means 1 2 3 4 5 or Uh, we talk about grouped frequencies they can be ungrouped frequencies they can be grouped discrete and continuous as it is or class interval series now how do you present data uh, we can present data in forms of graphs uh, tables diagrams pie charts where we have we have percentage bar diagrams i don't know of that and all the frequency curves remember we've done all of that now we have what is known as analysis of data so while anal analyzing data we talked all about it in unit 3 that we are talking about the measures of central tendencies measures of dispersion correlation uh, index numbers and all of that then we have what is known as interpretation that means we use all we whatever we analyzed we take that as magnitude of percentage or averages that we have done and then we conclude we come up with a conclusion now having talked about these statistical tools now we're going to use them in our project work so when we make a project these are the stages of making a project i'll explain to you in detail but right now first is to identify a problem or an area of uh, study that you want to take which <clears throat> which sort of impacts your heart you want to really know something about it or maybe your teacher has told you to find out so first of all you identify a problem that you want to really make a study on you want to make a project report on then you use you choose the target group now if you're making a study for the rich or the poor or the middle class or the students or the businessmen or the farmers you choose your teachers to whatever you have to choose the target group that you are going to use or you are going to make a study on you make a making a project upon now based on that that is a predetermined purpose right then you have to now you have to take you have to collect data now collection of data is either a primary source or the secondary source of data so how do you go and collect data that is collection of sample method census method 
you can go and collect it uh, from the primary source or a secondary source however just from newspaper findings or you can only do it from the say the the youtube or what do you want to do or you want to do it yourself you want to go in your neighborhood and find out yourself with the help of some investigators i mean that's the best thing that one can do but it takes a lot of time and money and to make that study a lot of effort but that that becomes an authentic report if you can do that like uh, i can give you an example for example if i say come on uh, make a project on say water harvesting so you go about your area and find out how many households have actually uh, done it how, how how much how many buildings have it so then you organize once you collect the data then you organize it you organize the data accordingly and in that uh, you you uh, so that it becomes easier for you to interpret data so even in organizing you can just uh, use how how we going to pre present data all of that comes here in this fifth step and then you conclude it's very easy to conclude after that that what are you trying to you got to wrap up your project report now first you have to tell us why when you identify a problem how why did you want to make this study and in the end you will say that this is what i found this is the finding and if you have a real good authentic findings it can be used by somebody else as secondary data and the most important bit which we forget sometimes is bibliography now for example when i have when i finish my uh, i finish with micro economic study for 11th i've st finished with macro economic study for the 12th i finished macro um, indian economy uh, economic development for the 12th and soon i'm going to finish statistics for economic for the 11th so after that the most important part will be i'm going to put all the books together and i'm going to make a bibliography or rather because i'm showing it on the uh, visually i can show the books visually from these are these are the books that i've made my notes from or these are the books that i've borrowed from most of the ideas that you borrow from is very important to uh, important to say that where have you taken it from otherwise it is nothing but plagiarism just pure copy okay so i for according to me bibliography is very important so now we uh, there are certain topics that we can that have been discussed like for example uh, i have taken up this uh, book by statistics for economics by ncrt so they have written down these topics you can always go and see them i have just listed four of them but there are so many of them uh, that these are suggest suggested uh, topics for the projects like for example they say suppose you are a uh, for the transport minister you are an advisor so you want to bring about a better and a coordinated system of transportation so how would you do it make a report or secondly they said you are working in a village called cottage industry okay and uh, and in that you were working in a unit which was making dhoop and agarbatti candles and jute products now you want to start a new unit of your own because you know enough of how to go about it so prepare a project it's written prepare a project proposal to get a bank loan third they written suppose you are a marketing manager in a company and recently you have been you have put up advertisements for the consumer product that you're producing so for that you make a report and show the effect of advertisement on the sale of your product did it actually make an impact or it did not and all of that so there's a fourth one that suppose you are a district education officer district education officer who wants to assess the literacy level and you also want to find out the reasons for the dropouts of school children for that you going to make a report so the dropout rates of school kids you are list listing uh, you have to make a report on that 
So there's so many of them. But, but before I go on, once again, I want to talk about the steps towards making a project. Once again. So how do you go about it? So quickly, I just want to tell you that you have to identify a problem and an area of study. So on, you have to be absolutely clear about what you want to study. Now on the basis of your objective, your predetermined objective, remember? So you will proceed with collection and processing of data. Okay. So that's how you will go about it. So you can uh, talk about consumer awareness about like for example, are they aware about certain things? Like for example, I'm just going to give an example right from here that the production of or sale of a product like a car, mobile phone, maybe an area of interest to you. And so you may like to address certain, maybe water or electricity problem relating to households of a particular, your area perhaps. So you would like to maybe like to study about consumer awareness about households. So it all depends on, you have to identify the problem. In the, and then choice of the target group. Again, the choice of the target group is important because on that basis you're going to make a questionnaire or list of questions that you're going to ask the target group so is it from the higher income group or um, like for example or from the lower and you're talking about some consumer products or you're, if you're talking about the availability of soft uh, safe drinking water so it can be both urban or rural, but since you are in the urban area and it's easier for you to go about here, you will perhaps um, take the urban area or if you, you can, you can collect enough information through secondary data if you want to do the rural area too. Now collection of data, now the objective of any survey the, uh, will help you to determine whether the data collection should be undertaken by how? the primary method or the secondary method so or a match or mix of both so primary data is what primary method is what first hand collection of data so this can be done if you want the primary data you take a questionnaire uh, or an interview schedule and you go for personal interviews you can send them emails email surveys or even telephonically okay so uh, now suppose if you want to find out the female literacy rate it will be good if you can go to each household to find out especially if you're doing it in the rural areas and of course you can use secondary data also if it suits your requirement uh, and secondary data generally we use when we have we don't have enough time money or manpower resources and the and you get information is easily available so and in data collection you can use a sampling method you just may take a small group out of the target group and study make a study then regarding the fourth one organizing organization and presentation of data now what do you do here so after collecting the data now you you need the uh, to process the information by organizing them presenting them with the help of tabulation and suitable diagrams which we've already done so the knowledge that you have gained while doing all of this will help you and then you can use for analysis uh, fifth one analysis and interpretation that you see right you can use like analysis and interpretation you can what if what would you want to use you can use measures of central tendency for example mean or measures of dispersion for example a lot of standard deviation we can use correlation will help us to understand uh, will enable to uh, calculate the average variability and relationship if it exists among the variables and generally there is there is some relationship which correlation will help so uh, these are these you already done, we've already done all of this and the last step is to draw a meaningful conclusion after analyzing and interpreting the result so 
And of course, a very good thing would be if you are able to predict the future prospects and suggestions are, and you can make suggestions relating to the growth or even what government policies or government policies should be made according to you. Maybe nobody listens to you, but you being the citizen of a country and you being an econo a small little, an economist in the offing, you can make your, uh, for, uh, you can uh, give suggestions on the basis of whatever information you collect. And as I said, bibliography, in this section, you need to mention the details of all the secondary sources, that is magazine, newspaper, books, and uh, reports why, which you used for developing the, this project. And then we talked about the topic for projects. As you said, there are so many others also. Like for example, <coughs> suppose there are others also. I'm just going to read them out to you. That, uh, And you can just... Uh, Instead of me writing there, you listen to it carefully. You can pause the video and write down. Like for example, now suppose fifth one. Suppose you are a vigilance officer of an area and you receive complaints about overcharging of goods by traders. That is charging a higher price than the MRP. What is the MRP? Maximum retail price. And you go to a few shops and prepare a report on the complaint. Then suppose you are, uh, consider yourself to be a head of the Gram Panchayat, that is Mukhya, of a particular village, who wants to improve amenities like safe drinking water to the people of your village. So you address those issues in a report form. form. Write a report on that. Then seventh is, as a representative of a local government, you want to assess the participation of women in various employment schemes in your area, so you make a project report. Now, for example, you are the chief health officer of a rural block. Identify the issues to be addressed through a project study. This may include health and sanitation problems in the area. So you are the chief, chief health officer in a rural block and you can do that. Now, as a chief inspector of food and civil supplies department, you have received a complaint about the food adulteration in the area of your duty. Conduct a survey to find the magnitude of a problem. And today, I mean, I don't even have to read out this. Please, you can... There are so many studies you can do with this pandemic which has come in. And you can take up all aspects. The social, the psychological, the health. And um, so many, uh, everything. You could crematoriums. You can talk about ambulances. You can talk about doctors, nurses, how they have been overworked. And uh, you can actually go and find out how actually students were impacted. They had to be s sitting at home, not going out, just being in there and coming. Um, people also had se have, have had psychological issues and all of that. There are so many project reports you can write. Uh, so maybe in the next class, we will just take a sample project. Otherwise, uh, we have finished with what is known as statistics for economics for class 12. So please.